What's good everybody? So I'm coming at y'all real quick with another video. When you think of something healthy, what do you think of? Salads and all the boring stuff, right? You can spice it up a little bit, all right? Y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this uh, keto-friendly quesadilla, all right? So y'all stay tuned, man. All right, so before we get started, Wash your dirty ass hands, okay? You can't be calling yourself cooking something, especially touching me if you ain't wash your hands, all right? I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients and basically what y'all gonna need to make this meal, okay? I got chicken tenders, uh, you know, raw chicken tenders that you can get from the store. These were like, I think, what, like four or five bucks. I'll show you guys how to cut it and everything. Next, we got our taco seasoning, 30% less sodium. Making Mexican food, per se, yes, you can make Mexican food healthy. It's just you have to be very cautious of sodium because a lot of their food has a lot of high sodium. This is the most important ingredient right here. Chipotle peppers. Guys, I got these for like 64 cent at HEB. Up next, we got our olive oil. Keep in mind, this is the little ghetto kind, all right? <laughs> I mean, this is the closest thing. This is the cheapest one they had. It was real little. Up next, this is optional, um, but this is mozzarella. Another very important ingredient. It's optional jalapenos, okay? Basically, we're gonna start and we're gonna cut up the meat. Y'all stay tuned. Bro, y'all gotta excuse me. Sometimes I be acting a little slow, all right? <laughs> I've got two things. Sour cream, but it's light, okay? Make sure you guys are eating light sour cream because sour cream has all them calories that you really do not need, okay? Another thing that's very important, I got tortillas. These are low carbs. Um, they have about six grams of carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut up this meat and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, basically what comes next, all right? So y'all stay tuned. All right, you guys, so basically you got your tender here. Make little slices of them. Make little slices. And not you, you know, you got your slices, they're gonna look like this, you know, little cubes, right? So you're gonna line them up, then you're gonna cut right down the middle. You're gonna make about three lines down the middle, okay? There you go, let's get it. All right, so up next, now that we're done cutting up the chicken, up next, we gotta cut these up, these chipotle peppers, all right? Real quick tip, to get these out, you're gonna need a little fork. You can add the juices. You know, it kinda remind me of like ravioli or something for some reason. And basically, all you're gonna do, make your little cuts. Just slice it right down the middle, just like that. I'm gonna cut it down the middle. But yeah, rinse and repeat, do the same thing. Look at that. Mm mm mm. All right, so now that we got that all added in there, we're gonna wash this cutting board and we're gonna cut up the jalapenos, all right? So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, y'all, so up next, we got our jalapeno peppers. Yeah, man, we're gonna cut it in slices. The key, so what, basically what I do is I stack them up like they poker chips or something. I just cut it right down the middle. Drop them off in there. I'm gonna tell you this too. When you cook it in, you might wanna wear a face mask, okay? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. When it cooks like that, all of that seasoning and, and spiciness, I promise you, like, it's, it's gonna have you coughing you better. All right, so we're gonna cut those little pieces up. I'm gonna cut it up one more time. We halfway there. You guys see, we're making it look, look, look pretty and beautiful. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up this lime right here. I'm gonna cut it in half. You know what, I'm gonna cut like a big slice out of it. And I'm gonna use that big slice to drop it off in here. You're gonna drop this lime off in here, you know what I mean? Y'all can see this. Oh man, look at that. It's like I'm on an Applebee's commercial or something, you know what I'm saying? He's chefing it up up in here, boy. Here's the final part of our setup, pretty much, and how we're gonna marinate this. I'm editing this. I've got to add garlic powder and also uh, some Cajun seasoning to the list, and you know, other home seasonings. So uh, you can add your own little twist to it. So yeah, my fault. <laughs> First thing you're gonna, uh, you're gonna need is this olive oil. So we're gonna use this in here. All right, since my weak ass couldn't even open this thing up. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna need the olive oil. Now you're gonna pour just a generous amount. You don't need too much, just a little bit. That's right there, that's enough. We're gonna get our garlic powder. Now keep in mind, do not use garlic salt. Use garlic powder instead. The reason why you wanna use garlic uh, powder is because it's less sodium than garlic salt. If you really pay close attention, you'll see too that garlic powder costs more than garlic salt because they know that. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add this garlic powder. That's a good amount right there. And then we got our Creole seasoning. Now we ain't gonna use too much of that either. We're gonna use just enough. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough. Last but certainly not least, 30% uh, less sodium taco seasoning. Now, you ain't gonna use too much of this either. Sprinkle some on top. Don't need too much. Just enough. All right, that's good right there. We're gonna grab our fork, fork, and uh, we're gonna mix it in. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stir this up. And it sounds like <laughs> so now that those seasonings is all nice and mixed in here's what it looks like okay looks crazy right we're gonna do this we're gonna cover this up see i ain't got a, a proper top all right so we just gonna use this little panda express top we're gonna throw this in the uh in the refrigerator actually throw this right on up in here that's gonna be amazing, I already can tell. Just how, just how like jumbled up and ghetto it look, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna let that sit in there for about an hour. So in the meantime, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do a workout. And uh, also, if y'all haven't already, be sure to add me on Facebook, cause I'm about to go on live and I'm gonna do my little workout and we're gonna let this marinate, all right? So until then, y'all stay tuned. And then that's when we're gonna get to cooking, all right? This is our finished product. I've been marinating this for about an hour. Let's hop right into the cooking, all right? And of course, this is where we did the legendary photo where I'm cooking and you know, I got all the likes and all that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put our stove on medium heat because this already has olive oil in here. Well, our only thing we're gonna do is take this out and put it in here to cook. Put that all in there. Woo, it smells so good. Man, it smells so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is it right here. Now keep in mind, y'all, this might be ghetto, but I'm gonna tell y'all, you gonna need a face mask. The reason why, cause we cooking jalapenos and, and peppers and all that stuff. I'm telling you, you gonna need this. So also while this is cooking, guys, you wanna make sure that you don't mix it around a lot because then you're cooking off some of that flavor too. Now I'm just mixing it so that it cooks evenly. We're gonna let that kind of marinate. All right, you guys, so as you guys can see, you want that chicken to be brown. But when it finished cooking, I'm gonna come back to you guys and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the uh the quesadilla all right all right you guys so as you can see see how dark everything is the the, the chicken is nice and charred kind of like you're you're grilling it you know what i mean i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put half of this away and i'm gonna prep the rest of the chicken for the quesadillas all right so y'all stay tuned all right you guys so check this out we got everything done the meat is cooked and everything i took half of it put it in the refrigerator and everything like that all right you guys so we got our chicken here we're gonna add our light sour cream in there i'm gonna get like a pretty good amount in there about like two i don't even know spoonful slash fork pools i don't know i'm gonna add oh, i don't know if i want to try this but like why not so i'm gonna add we're gonna add just a little bit in there now normally i would add sriracha but because i don't know where the sriracha is he's gonna add a little bit of some hot sauce in there and then we're gonna add our mozzarella cheese next we're gonna be a little generous with it okay we ain't gonna do too much we're gonna add just a little bit now, I know it look like a mountain of sour cream and all that, but it's really not. That's not even the case. What we're going to do is we're going to mix this up, and then I'll go ahead and I'll show you the finished result and what we're going to do next, all right? All right, you guys, so... This joint looks nasty as hell, but check it out. This is what's gonna be going inside of your tortillas that's over here. Also, keep in mind, this is low carb, so for the most part, it's, it's healthy. For the most part, guys. You wanna get your extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna pour this into the pan, just a little bit. You don't need too much. All right, you're gonna move that around. Let that oil kind of heat up in there. You should start to smell it a little bit. We're gonna drop it in there, guys. So, I'm gonna lay this down up in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fire. Now we got our chicken. It's a little bit, just enough. We're gonna put it on one side, guys. This is what it should look like. So now that that's cooking on that side, uh, this is the point where you wanna kinda add your cheese because your cheese is gonna act like an adhesive and kinda make it uh, stick, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna sprinkle that over the top. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I noticed too? For some reason, it's a rare thing that men know how to cook. I don't know why, like, just me taking that picture of me making food or whatever, I got tons of likes. All right, so you're gonna take that, take that one side, and you're gonna flip it over, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna peek real quick. Oh yeah, for sure, this is ready right here. Let it cook on the other side one more time. That's how you make quesadillas right there. This is keto friendly, everything, man. Let's try it, y'all. I 
I really like, I put my foot in this. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys on how to make something healthy. And that don't mean you gotta always eat the boring stuff. You can mix it up, bro. But I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching, man. But until then, peace.